My initial idea of a short vlog showing Greek town on a sunny, warm afternoon quickly went out the window when I realized there was a story here after all. But this being Travels with Lobo, uh, nothing gets directly to the story. Uh, let's have a bit of background. And uh, here's an impressive view that I got from the top of a parking garage in Greek town. In the foreground are the twin spires of Old St. Mary's Catholic Church, a very historic church in Detroit. And, of course, in the background, you've got the Wren Center right there. What a beautiful view. And here is about as good a view as you'll get of Monroe Street going towards downtown. And that is known as Greek Town right there. Greek Town, of course, is known as the go-to place in Detroit day or night. Uh, the street, Monroe Street, is lined with restaurants and the Greek Town Casino. <laughs> the spire of old historic St. Mary's Church. Literally behind St. Mary's Church is the Greek Orthodox Cathedral the Church of Annunciation. Surprisingly, it did not have a presence here in Greektown until 1968 when the present building was built. If you're interested, pause the historical plaque to read the detail. And for more about Greek Orthodoxy, Greek Orthodox vlogger would be a good place to go, a fellow YouTube vlogger. In the top middle, the blue window panels of the Greek Town Casino Hotel. In this case, all paths lead to the Greek Town Casino on the south side of Monroe Street. And right there in the same building as the Greek Town Casino is the Pegasus Taverna, touted as the best Greek restaurant in Detroit. To the immediate right is one of the entrances to the Greek Town Casino. Now there's a story there, and I'll try and be as brief about it as I can. In vlog number eight, Dan Gilbert making Detroit great again, I indicated that Gilbert bought the Greek Town Casino and the Greek Town Casino Hotel after the previous owner went bankrupt at a rock bottom price. What else would you expect from Rock Ventures and Bedrock, two of his real estate development companies? Casino and the hotel were to be run under the Jack Entertainment label of Gilbert's Casino Branch. It extends to Cleveland. Part of the plan was to rename the Greek Town Casino Hotel the Jack Greek Town Casino Hotel. But as the transition date approached, I was wondering why it never happened. Well, this recent headline explains everything. Jack Entertainment agrees to sell Greek Town Hotel Casino to Penn National Gaming and Vici Properties. 
Well, that's okay, another real estate transaction, but when you look at the details here, well, they got a billion dollars for it. A billion dollars! To be used by Gilbert for new Detroit developments such as the new Monroe Block, which is just down the road. Obviously, Greek Town is on Monroe Street. I like the term game changer. I used it last for the Hudson Tower, but I have to say the Monroe Block will be another game changer for the center of Detroit. It's going to be fabulous. I'll leave a link below in the description to a video that outlines this fantastic project. So as Monroe Street heads towards downtown, it takes a turn right here, and that's where the Monroe Block development will be, covering two city blocks. And by the way, to the right, going up the stairs, is the People Mover Station. Offering easy access to Greek Town, you can see it crossing Monroe Street right there. And let's turn to another developing story in Greek Town, right across the street, the new Parthenon restaurant. New Parthenon. The new Parthenon. Yes, sir. The new one, not the old one in Athens, right? New this and the old. new one. Yeah, right. new. And we're talking with? Uh, ask Charlie. We're, Charlie, what, what's so famous about this restaurant in Greek Town here? Uh, Greek Town's been around a lot of years. I'd say over 100. 100 years. You know, yeah. Parthenon's been here close to 50, and they had a lot of other great restaurants in this area. Right. Greece and Gardens, Hellas, you can go on and on. You know, and it just draws people from all over, you know, the suburbs, good old Detroit, you know, where I grew up. That's where famous is, right? Yeah. yeah. And so, it's still and going wonderful today, and they're bringing things back. And you've been uh, a waiter here for how I've long? I've been a waiter here 30 years. Holy yeah. mackerel, 30 years. Nothing ever stays the same, and I regret that only a year later, the new Parthenon has joined the Grecian Gardens and the Hellas as Greek Town history. The restaurant has closed down and Charlie is no longer working there. For my next news story about Greek Town, I go just across Monroe Street from the People Mover to this. Let's roll that back. I want to tell you about what's on the corner right there. Right on this corner is Santorini's, another iconic restaurant in Greek Town that's closed down within the last couple of months. What's happening in Greek Town? It seems like the answer lies here at the Pegasus Taverna, which is owned by the wealthy Pappas family that also owns a luxury hotel, the Athenaeum nearby. Greek Town investor family buys new Parthenon as remake of neighborhood studies. The Pappas family, owner of the Pegasus Taverna, buys the building and business. Also plans remodeling of nearby Santorini restaurant with new rooftop bar. And in a teaser, there are plans for a wider Greek Town remake underway. And on Monroe Street, just before Greek Town, is Second Baptist Church. And that's the uh, subject of next week's vlog. Second Baptist Church in Greek Town. Join me next Friday for more on this fascinating city of Detroit. And if you made it this far, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and maybe a comment. Don't forget, even if you're subscribed, you need to click on the alert bell 
in order to get notification of the next vlog published every Friday. Have a great week.